Australia. Except I really need to let go of my lines. Ah, it's for a short film. I'm auditioning for the role of an assistant chef, like a fancy kitchen, and the other character is a chef. So have they sent you like a script or something for today? Yes. What, what's going to happen in the audition? Like, is it just... I have no idea. He said it's going to take 90 minutes to 90 two hours. 90 minutes? Yeah. That's probably longer than the actual film. Yeah. How did Olive's hair get up here? Sometimes I did a sit on my knee and dry. No, <laughs> She's in the back seat, but you can't see her. Hi, Olive, buddy. Olive. Do some warm ups. Ba, 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 the camera. Go 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 no, I hope you don't make me chop something. Traffic jam ahead. No, it is not. I think they might say, chop up these onions. Then what are you going to do? Is this just a ploy to cook them dinner? <laughs> you know, you got to. Yes, I watched a fingers. video where Gordon Ramsay did it. And you don't forget, you have to like tuck your fingers in like that and you chop your own cut with two hands and last one around. No, then he like cuts it in half almost to the end that way. I and hope they're does... not judging your cooking skills. Well, surely they would have asked. Although you're meant to be a bumbling chef, so aren't you? I don't know where you got that from because I've never told you anything about it. I think she's hopeless romantic, maybe oh, you just heard yeah. hopeless. So hopeless romantic, not hopeless chef. Yes. <laughs> and then when you cut it that way, then it's already in cubes. So like, Do you know how to get the potato? But we need to have a safe word in case it's a trap. Oh gosh, what if it's a trap? Good girl. Um, what are we talking about? Which characters from The Office we are? And you said I was Angela. Well, sometimes you're Angela. I think usually I'm Michael. Yeah, you're Michael. Michael Scott. Well, I like to think I'm part Michael, part Jim, my heart Angela. Probably. What time is it? It is a quarter to two. What time is your audition? Two. Two. Yes. Yikes! I told you. It says we've got five minutes until we get there. What? Yeah, it says arrival time at one forty-eight. I'm fine right now, but I am nervous because I actually kind of don't know what they're doing or what I'm doing. Don't forget that book says don't ask for when callbacks are. I never have and I, I never like will. Because it sounds presumptuous when you're I never have and I never will. Sometimes there aren't even callbacks, but there might be. Anyway. How did you get this? Is this They messaged me oh. and they messaged me and I was like, yes, please. They wanted me to go for yeah, the apprentice chef. They're like, we think you would suit the apprentice chef. They looked at you and they said, she looks like she can't chop onions perfectly. Um, and I can chop onions. Olive! Oh, I forgot she was here. <laughs> it's one of the good things about a greyhound is that they're so easy to travel with. This oh, back seat for Olive is really just the oh. travelling sofa. We're almost there, look. A couple of streets. Can we just sit in the car and go through lines? Yeah. <laughs> When's, I don't you know, know when they're shooting? Um, end of May or early June. This picture of No, I don't know. No, they said, but I can't remember. Take the next right. I was right. You have reached your destination. What? 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 Oh, I was going to say it's a vacant block. Don't <laughs> <laughs> drive up there. Why? Why? Because they'll know I'm here and it's going to be weird because I'll be sitting in the car for 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't want to sit here for 15 minutes just staring back but at them through the window. Like earlier. they're going to peer the curtains through and they'll be like, is there someone there? And I'll just be in the car going. Well, it would be good to find out if this is exactly the right way. But what, how? Go up to the door and say, it's the right place. They say, yeah, and I'm like, okay, thanks. And walk back to the car and, and say, I just need 15 minutes to learn the lines you sent me last week. <laughs> Can we not just pretend I'm turning around? 
Oh, well, we can just pretend we're lost and then in 10 minutes we'll say, oh no, we're not. <laughs> we thought we were this lost, is... but actually we're not, so we're here now. Uh -huh. But maybe you can go in a bit early. They can see you early. It's... Wait. <laughs> Wait. Did we... you think you saw a kangaroo? Are they kangaroos? Where's a the kangaroo? Oh, so there are... are they kangaroos? Where's a kangaroo? Let's see how it, is. <laughs> it took her a very short time to learn what kangaroo <laughs> meant. <laughs> kangaroos? <laughs> We've been sitting here for an hour. It's a bit boring, isn't it, Olive? So well behaved. Such a good girl. Having a sleep. A very good girl. Indy just texted me and said they left the room for her to read the script alone, to finish the script, and they said to her that they hoped she would still want to be involved when she got to the end of it. Don't know what that means. Maybe her character cooks and eats the other character or something. Be interesting to find out what she's read when she comes out. Were they, were they nice? Yes, they were. They were very nice. Is it a creepy story? Like, I'm really intrigued. Why did they leave you alone? I can't tell you. Well, they said that they were hoping that you'd still want to be involved. Do you still want to be involved? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really good. I like it. It's a really cool story. What did you have to do? Well, I read through the scenes, first of all, and they filmed it and we were sitting down. Then they gave, like, feedback and they wanted me to sort of do it again a couple of times. And then we went through like each scene individually and then they asked me to do one of the scenes like in a different way and we did that a couple of times. And then they said do one like really angry and I got to pick which one. I did one of them really angry and they liked that. They had water there, they were like, do you want tea or coffee? And they had a little bowl of the limp chocolate balls and nut. Uh, they gave you these chocolates because I said my mum is actually up the front. Yeah, take this to your mum, take this to her, say thank you very much for waiting. That's really sweet. Like, which one do you want? Do you want dark milk, white or hazelnut? <laughs> the chocolate one. <laughs> do you want a dark one? Yeah. Thank you. Do you feel like it went well? Yes. Yes, I do. But who knows, maybe they'll get someone next weekend who'll just be so mind-blowingly amazing. But no, they were, they were very happy with how I did it. I was excited to be there. No, we're about to go into a tunnel. Oh, not the tunnel again! <laughs> See you on the other side. Just keep feeding me chocolate. Okay. I hope this navigator knows where it's going. Prepare to keep right what? after. I don't think I'm supposed to go down there. I'm pretty sure I'm going this way. Keep left. I'm keeping left, but I don't know how left you mean because there's a number of lefts. Ugh, what's all that? Ooh, I don't like being in the tunnel because it's just I, like. We Take past. the next left. I am doing that, Mr. Interrupt. How long have you been driving for? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I got out of that lane. It ended. <laughs> I don't feel safe. I can drive. I just don't. I'm not familiar. You with go these in the roads. tunnel and you're like, oh, glad we got out of there. <laughs> I didn't say I'm glad we got out of there alive. I'm just glad we got out of there. I'm just not sure where I'm supposed to be. We were driving home and I got an update. Um, it's not that exciting yet. Just it's not really. Whoa, an whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, so we're. we're, we're <laughs> oh, lipstick and my <laughs> Valentino <laughs> white bag. And I got a message from the people from yesterday, and this isn't an update or anything really, but it's just. Oh, it's, just it's kind of an indication that maybe. Indication. An indication that they're trying to maybe just double check that you're interested. And they said they were just touching base and they thanked me for attending. Touching base is good. And that they will let me know. So that's cool. And Better I, than silence. And I replied and said that I had fun doing it and that I hope to hear from them too.